Hi everyone, I am back to show you my latest finished garment. This is Butterick 5638. I will get in closer here so you can check out this fabric. This fabric is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to try to get pictures outside so you can see it much better. This is an embroidered linen that my mom brought for me from Trinidad. I think it's about almost three years ago. She got this fabric for me and it's been in stash that whole time because I knew I wanted to make something simple and classic so you know I could always have this fabric as a garment in my closet but no pattern was good enough. You know that's the age old story. You get a fabric that is just beautiful and you cannot find a pattern so that you actually have to cut the fabric to make it with. Um, but I did. This year um, Butterick released their summer collection and I have got to say there wasn't much in there that I like but I loved this dress. Not the first time I saw it. This, I'm going to show you the, um, the view that I made. This is view A. Now you see all those other views that's what I saw initially all those ruffles and I don't know if you guys remember when ruffles came on the scene back in spring 2009 is when you started to see it in the fashion magazines well guess what if that was out in 2009 that means fall of 2008 it was actually becoming a trend so 2008 to 2011 going into 2012 I'm kind of done with ruffles. I, you know, I have no qualms about other people using ruffles. It's just that I think that it's it's really time to move on. And plus, I wanted to make um, a more formal looking LBD, so to speak. So that's why I went with view A, which is the simple view. Now I'm gonna take you around the pattern. It's not really much in in terms of design, but you know it's, it's a classic look this dress is um, what they will call a sheet dress if I'm correct it it's not a full A line I'm gonna pan out so you can see the shape of it you're not gonna see these you're not seeing the embroidery when I pan out um, but that's the shape of it simple sheet dress instead of just a full A line that comes all the way down like a triangle um, it has the princess seams, which I love because that means for people with fitting issues like like me, you could always come in and adjust as you go. Love the neckline. It's very simple, and I don't know exactly if there's a particular name for this type of neckline, but of course it's a V neckline. Just you know, just a simple way of describing it. Now, if it does look low, it is low even on the pattern envelope as well. Oops, let me pick it up here. Look, you see how low it is on the pattern envelope? I think they were pretty accurate when they showed that. It is that low. However, I am going to go in and wear a cami, a lace cami inside. And I already tried it on with the dress. And I think it adds that extra layer and lace is so hot right now so anything with a little bit of lace you know you're in you're good so that being said the collar is a mandarin style collar very flattering you could still wear your beautiful necklaces with this dress um i use the facing and i will flip over the dress so you'll see the the lining because i i I don't know. I just like to see the inside of, of dresses when it's made because, you know, that's when you see the real story, you know, what's really going on. Um, just invisible zipper, none special with hook and eye closure. Um, the back also has, um, let me see, you're probably not going to see that. Yeah, right here. The princess seams are in the back also. Um, so it's a very basic dress there's really nothing to it but that's exactly what I wanted I wanted a uh, elegant style LBD for like weddings funerals um, stuff that's more formal so that you won't just wear like a regular just plain um, knit 
plaque dress. You just want something a little bit more. But yet, it was simple. So, that is the layout of the dress. And I will come back and show you the inside. This is the inside of the dress. It is fully lined. I bought this fabric from Joanne's Fabrics uh, earlier this week, I think. It's a matte polyester lining. It feels amazing and it's really interesting. I was looking for a black batiste, but I'm so happy I decided to go with this because not only is it matte, but it's it's matte, but it still has that that non-static, don't cling, don't stick to you type quality. And it wasn't slippery though. When it was sewing, it's kind of kind of blew my mind how this all worked out because I'm always like you know what I'm just gonna line everything cotton with cotton batiste is so easy but this actually worked out pretty well so the facing is turned over and slip stitched as I said I used the facings that was actually provided um, with the pattern I didn't use the lining to finish off the the armhole. I just find that it could be it could be a little tough to to maneuver that whole thing how you flip it in, how you flip it out, how you turn it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not signing up for that. This dress took a lot of time because you know when you're doing a lining with a dress, it's like making two dresses. So I don't really say cut corners, but I'm saying if you could do something that your dress still maintains a professional look without having that additional headache of doing something, then just do it. I mean, it's your dress. Nobody's not here critiquing. Well, maybe you are seeing that I'm showing it to you, <laughs> but nobody's here really critiquing your stuff. This is your dress. Make it to the best of your ability for you. Um, simple hook and eyes. Um, the mandarin color has has been stitching a ditch on the other side. Facings again, pretty simple. Um, it's a free hanging lining. Once again, as I said, this whole flip and flip out for these, you know, linings that hook onto the dress. It's not really my cup of tea, but it is. Um, yeah, I can show it to you here. The, it has a machine, you're not even going to see it, but it's a machine blind hem used to finish off the side. And that is, that's it. They said simple LBD, love it, love the pattern, very easy to work with. It, this is one of those um, patterns that come with, with the measuring, the ABC cups, the everything, so I highly recommend it. And... That's a wrap, you guys. Um, more later. Bye.